16-time Funny Car champion John Force made a simple request of his youngest daughter as medical personnel were about to take him to the hospital following a horrific crash during the Funny Car eliminations at the NHRA Arizona Nationals. He told his baby girl, go out there and kick their asses. And boy, did she ever. Courtney Force put aside the emotional toll of seeing her sister crash two weeks ago in Pomona and her dad Sunday at Wild Horse Motorsports Park and did what she had to do in beating Tommy Johnson Jr. The emotional victory for the advanced auto parts it sponsored driver was one she needed for the family for your family what do you draw on for strength <laughs> honestly uh today i drew on the words that my dad told me he said go out there and kick their asses and uh and then he told me right before that round he goes you know what i want you to go out there and win but if you don't who cares and uh that kind of motivation the support that i have behind me with these guys and the advanced auto parts team uh, my sponsors Chevy Peak Auto Club Monster Energy um, every single one of those guys Parker stores I mean every sponsor that we have um, allows us to come out here do what we love and uh, honestly it's a risk in these cars and we're well aware of that but I'm really glad that my dad's okay I'm glad that Lindbergh's okay and I'm glad that uh, we had a fast hot rod all day thanks to karate uh, hood and, and all of my advanced auto parts guys uh, this feels good it's been a long time but this one definitely means a lot um, bringing this one to my dad and uh, I wish he was out here I know he'd be running up here hugging me right now but I'm gonna go find him and uh, give him this one this is definitely for all of JFR Steve Torrance and his Torrance Racing Team were on cloud nine after they put two of their three cars in the final and another in the semifinals. Torrance scored his first 2018 victory by taking down fan favorite and Torrance satellite driver Scott Palmer in the final. It was a win-win situation for the Kilgore, Texas-based driver. First win since the crash in Dallas. How far have you come? A long ways. I kind of forget about that thing. Uh, you know what? Last year was an unbelievable year, but that's old news. And, uh... We did a lot of cool stuff, but today, racing Scott Palmer in the final, another Capco car right there, and racing my dad in the semis, and just what this Capco team has been able to come out and do is, uh, is just a testament to some hardworking good old boys that come out here and do what they love to do and have a good time doing it. All those Capco boys back at home, you're some bad hombres. Appreciate everything. I'll be back at work in the morning. And uh, old Todd Stewart, one of our safety guys, he sent my dad a text this morning. He goes, hey, good luck today. Don't embarrass the company. So, uh, Dad did a good job. We did a good job. And Capco, we got a lot of coverage. So, hey, thank you guys. Thanks, Mellow Yellow. Thank you, brother. Chris McGahey missed the Q4 qualifying session when his Harlow Salmon's Camaro wouldn't fire, but this misfortune was soon forgotten once the Texas-based driver strapped a hole shot on Jason Line and led him through the finish line. And you could see Jason Line out of your window. Yeah, I could see him down there. Had no idea. I knew we ran out of gear down there and got the win. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was a rematch from two years ago. I mean, I got, I've had a lot of personnel change. I got a new crew chief. I got to thank him. He, he really come through on that one because evidently we picked up, but you know, everybody gets down here and say they have the best crew and that is impossible because I have the best crew. Absolutely. And I have a guy that is leaving me from my engine shop. He told him, he said, I owed him a hat and a jacket. So there you go, Scott, that one's for you. In the Mickey Thompson Top Fuel Harley Division, Ty Tharp covered the quarter mile in 6.337 seconds to top number one qualifier Jay Turner, whose bike lost fire on the starting line. Defending Superstock World Champ Justin Lamb scored his 19th career national event victory, chasing down the Mopar of Mike Cotton at the stripe. Lamb was quicker off the line and forced Cotton to break out. Jody Lang avenged his semifinal loss in Superstock, and the sportsman racing icon scored his 29th NHRA career victory by winning the stock title when the big block Camaro of Brian McClanahan went 00 for red. In Supercomp, Trevor Harkema scored his first career NHRA win on a hole shot, beating Glenn Kern, the 2015 event champion. Supergas racer Todd Barton ran a dead-on 990 with a 5 pass in his beautiful 55 Chevy to win his second career NHRA race when Val Torres broke out in the final round. Four-time NHRA Division VI top dragster champion Paul Nero scored his third career NHRA national event final by beating a too-quick Roger Comstock. First-time winner Brian Ward drove his Utah-based Corvette to the top sportsman win as Bud Bruce got slightly crossed up in his Camaro. Closing out the Lucas Oil Sportsman Competition, Dave Keisel won his first career NHRA National Event crown, winning Super Street, beating Chris Borges in a double breakout final. 
The NHRA heads east in a couple of weeks for the Emily Oil NHRA Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida, an event known for strong performances and plenty of excitement. Make sure you check out competitionplus.com daily for the latest in drag racing news and like us on Facebook. This is Kathy Fisher reporting for Competition Plus TV.